Hi everyone, this is Easy Peasy, and today's going to be an e.l.f. tutorial. Um, I, they just got e.l.f. in at my Target, and I chose some um, neutral colors. So I'm titling this an everyday weekend look, like a running errands kind of look. Alright, I also got um, some NYC loose powder, and I've never tried this before, so I'm going to go ahead and try this with the little powder puff thingy that it comes with. Okay, let's see. Mm, it kind of goes everywhere. And I think it's too light for me, maybe. Which is hard to believe. I think maybe if I applied this with a, um, I have a big fluffy brush, big fluffy kabuki, that it would be okay. I think this little sponge guy is grabbing up too much powder. Okay, let's get the nose and under the eyes. Okay, well, you know, it's not, it's not bad. I, I need to work with it a little bit more before I know if it's going to become a well-loved product or not. Okay, let's get right into the eyes. Okay, the first color I'm using, is this is called Pink Ice, and this is going to go all over our lids. That's just a very um, almost skin tone peachy pink. You could use this as a highlight too. I'm mostly doing this tutorial just because I wanted to play with my new stuff. And this is the first time I've used e.l.f. eyeshadows. So, Oh, by the way, I got these e.l.f. brushes too. And now I have used e.l.f. brushes quite a bit and they are really, really good. They're only a dollar each. I mean, how can you go wrong with that? Okay, I think I'm going to keep this a pink and gray look. So I'm going in with gray in my crease. This is sort of a purpley gray. It's called Periwinkle. And this is the e.l.f. I think it's called Defining Brush, I think. But really, it's a crease brush. And I like how if you turn it this way, you can really work on blending that up. If you can turn it this way, you can really work on blending it in towards your eye, towards your nose. Okay, let's go in for some more of that for the other eye. So I'm going to start by defining where I want the color to be. I'll do it more slowly than I did the first eye, so that I kind of already have a shape in mind that I don't really want to go outside of. So I'm turning the slant like that so it fits underneath my brow bone. And just doing a windshield wiper motion. Now I'm turning the slant this way so it fits along my eyelid and bringing that outer V in just a bit. Kind of overstepped my bounds right there. Okay, and going back to the eyeshadow brush, this is from e.l.f. also. I'm going into this lightest color called Ivory, and I'm just going to highlight my brow bone. What a difference that makes, huh? Isn't that amazing the difference one little step can make to your whole eye look? Like, who would think that highlighting the brow bone would make such a difference? Okay. So, I think I'm going to stop there with the eyeshadow. Because this is supposed to be like a five minute face. I'm using the Revlon Color Stay Eye Pencil in brown. Remember to do, um, unless you are really have a steady hand, remember to work in sketching motions, just like they taught you to how to draw a straight line in art class. I'm going to line my waterline, and I'm going to tight line. It tickles like crazy when you first start to do that. OK. 
Okay. And then I'm going to do the rest of my waterline right here. Okay. And then this side. I'm going to tight line. Blink if you need to. Fill in that little gap right there. Then I'm going to do my water line. Okay, doing your water line is an easy way to add drama to your look without putting in a lot of steps. Okay, I'm using this brown mascara from Maybelline the Colossal Volume Express. It's a real dark brown though, so it's not going to look, it's not going to pale your lashes out. Okay. Hang on, I need to get a Kleenex. Whoa, sorry, I've been out of frame for so long. Alrighty. Okay, I need to clean up where I goofed. I'm just gonna hold that on there, let it absorb for a moment. See, it absorbs. going to do that again. So this helps um, dry out your goof. See, it's almost gone. And then you can just gently wipe it up. If I were to go immediately wiping, I would smear it all under here. But if I dab and just rest it on there first, don't move it around, it absorbs all the extra and it makes it so much easier to clean up. Okay. All that's left now are lips and cheeks, and I'm going to show you how to use a lipstick as your blush. Okay, this is Revlon in lilac. It's the crisscross one, which I can never remember what it is, what the name of, of it is. It just says Revlon lipstick. Maybe color, truth, color burst, something like that. Anyway, if you're out and about and you find that your blush has died, but you have a pretty um, lipstick with you, you can use it as your blush. Just use it very sparingly because it'll be more pigmented than a blush. Okay, and lips. And that's us done. So it turned out to be, let's see, the time is 8.47, an 8.47 minute face, but I talked a lot. So uh, if I would shut up and just get down to business, I'm sure you could do it in five minutes. <laughs> so if you have any questions about any of these products, just let me know. And if you um, have questions about um, doing your waterline or tight lining or like cleaning up little mistakes, any tips like that. Um, if you're interested in a video of something like that, just let me know and I'll do one. And I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, thank you for watching. Bye.